Hey guys, Andres Aya here with Aya Percussion. If you're like me, you love Jim Casella and his percussion ensembles. Now that I'm working with a lot of middle school students right now, we are working on technology and storm break. And as I was working on this in class, uh, I remember there's these solo sections. And if I'm working with a soloist in class, the rest of the students who are just grooving in the background are just going to be watching paint dry. So I thought I'd make solo tutorials and run-throughs of the solos in there and they're both snare, timpani, and toms. Uh, that way those students can work on that at home and in class we can spend time with the full group. So the solo section starts at C here. Now I'm going to keep it right hand lead system and make sure you're getting your accents. Everybody's kind of out of the way so we don't have to play too loud. This is a good chance for us to work on our marching snare drum heights. So we're going to play an easy like nine and three. Okay, our rhythm is one E and a two and a three and four E and a one. Pretty easy to start here. Right hand is constant. You don't need to open your fingers for any of these accents. One, two, ready, go. Again, ready, go. Again, ready, last time. Okay, now on the next measure, so this is measure 40, we have a dotted quarter roll going to a shot. Now a dotted note is worth three of what that note value usually breaks down into. So we're dealing with a dotted quarter. The quarter note usually breaks down into two eighth notes. So because we're doing a dotted note, we're gonna think about breaking it down to three eighth notes. Now we know with rolls, with double stroke rolls especially, we're gonna be thinking about how many sixteenth notes we're producing here. So if we have three eighth notes, each one has two sixteenth notes, so that's gonna be a total of six sixteenth notes. So this one E and a two E, and the shot on the and will be the release. And that is a 13 stroke roll. Okay, well, uh, let's do the check. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Pretty easy. Now let's open it up and make sure we set the pressure to get two notes on each hand to get a drag. Nice and open. Ready, go. Ready, go. Last time, go. Okay, now we have a full beat quarter rest coming up, so we have to wait three four, and one. Now we have flam, 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 uh, three flams in a row. I'm going to come from the edge so it can build. And my heights also are obviously building. Okay, so let's add that on. So we're going to play all of the second measure of 40. One, two, ready, go. Again, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. Press. Okay, so let's do 39 and 40. One, two, ready, go. Notice on the roll, I'm reattacking with some heights because there's an accent there. One, two, last time, go. All right, we're in measure 41. We notice the accent pattern is exactly the same as the beginning at 39. One and four, one. But our rhythm here has a sequence of single stroke four followed by a flam. Okay, so we have flam, single stroke four, flam, single stroke four, and then we have flam, e, and a one. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. I usually like to do right hand lead system on these eighth notes where I put the triplet, if it's on the end on the left, and if it's on the down beat on the right. Because it's a sequence, I'm gonna keep the sticking the same, that way it sounds the same. So I'm gonna go right flam, and then I'm gonna go right, left, right, left, single stroke four. 
and then kind of repeat it from there. Okay? The key on this is to make sure everything is landing on an eighth note. Flam, triple the tap, flam, triple the tap, flam. Okay, everything's gonna land on the beat, okay? One, two, ready, go. Again, two, ready, go. Don't be early, place it on the eighth note. Okay? Now on four eanda, we have flam eanda. Make sure the left starts low, you raise your right, and then the left can come up a little bit as you go up. The grace note should be pretty low. Don't lift both sticks. Leave their left hand down and then fill up the rest. Keep that left down, okay? All right, that whole measure, 41. One, two, ready, go. Okay, measure 42 is exactly the same thing as we had in measure 40. The only difference is it doesn't end with a third flam. It ends with a single right because we're about to play a 16th note sequence with these two 16th notes followed by nine stroke rolls um, that has a hemiola feel. Okay, so let's play this anyway. 42, one, two, ready, go. Single right. Okay, let's do four measures in a row, 39 through 42. One, two, ready, go. Last time. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so now we have this sequence coming up over the next two measures. So we're going to learn 43 and 44 together, okay? Basically, we have two notes and then a nine stroke roll. A nine stroke roll is four drags and uh, two E. And then we're going to start that same idea again. So we have this. Okay, and then it ends on beat three. So this pattern kind of has a loop to it. Let's give it a shot. One, two, ready, go. Again, go. Now, I know it sounds like on these rolls I'm playing fast, but my roll bass is still 60 notes the whole time. Okay, I'm always doing 16th notes. Okay, and I'm just loosening the pressure instead of doing those buzzes. It is a good idea to do buzzes first to kind of hear that rhythm. So let's play with four crushed buzzes in that sequence and keep the arm moving. Again, your right hand's gonna be going. And I teach my students to use arm on buzzes and drags. One, two, ready, go. Again, ready, go. Okay, now loosen it up and get dragged without speeding up. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now I like to put a little bit of subtle micro dynamics in here. It's got a sequence, so it's kind of building tension. So I like to start kind of medium and then kind of let it naturally build, okay? It's pretty subtle, but if you can handle that, give it that tension and release. Each one gets a little bit bigger, but it's not a huge difference. Uh, the last two beats are easy, a three and a shot and. That's uh, Heroes in a Half Shell, if you're familiar with Ninja Turtles. Uh, by the way, when I was little, I was Michelangelo. What Ninja Turtle were you? On this shot, make sure you're catching the drum and the rim. Most middle schoolers are a little shy about shots and they hit the rim up front or they don't know how to hit the shot. You gotta work on catching the drum and the rim and don't over squeeze, just catch the rim, okay? Uh, so let me hear that three and a shot and one. And go ahead and give me the downbeat of one. One, two, Ready, go.
Okay, so let's play all of measure 43 and 44. One, two, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. Those are my favorite two measures right there. Okay, and now let's finish this up. At 45, we have that rhythmical motif that keeps coming back. One E, a two, and a E, and four, and one. But we're adding some different implements in here. So we have one E, a two. So right, left, left, right. I want to keep it right hand lead system. Then it says we're going to do stick shots. Try to do a flat flam where the left hits the drum and keep your fingers closed. And then you're going to hit shoulder on shoulder. Okay, and stroke that out with your wrist. Okay, and then you're going to finish with flam left. And then end with your right. Okay, so it sounds like this. One, two, ready, go. Some people might do that flam as right, right, right. Either way works. So now let's hear the last measure. 46, we have a sextuplet. Again, just like the single stroke four, you want to make sure every three notes are landing on an eighth note. So this is a single stroke seven. Triple the, triple the tap, and. Triple the, triple the two, and. Triple the, triple the two, and. Okay? Nice and loose. Of course, when we get faster, you're going to even be even more on the front fulcrum. Open up and use rebound. Don't have tight hands. One, two, ready, go. And we have a buzz there. I like to finish this solo with a buzz roll. It just sounds cooler to me. Um, so there is no roll base for uh, a buzz. It's just whatever hand speed sounds good to make a buzz. I think when we get up to tempo, I think 16 notes are going to be just fine though. Okay. So um, as you get lower, go to the edge and just fade to nothing. Okay. One, two, last measure and go. Two, again, and go. Now, I like to round out that accented buzz by making sure both hands start with an accent, and that helps round it off. Okay? Uh, one more time. One, two, ready, go. Okay. All right, so let's run this whole thing. Uh, snare solo of technology at 39. One, two, ready, go. Again, last time, ready, go. Okay, if you need to break that down more, again, loop it, slow it down or pause the video. All right, I'm gonna take it up to 132, and we're gonna hear what this sounds like with everything else. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, this is the technology tenor solo. Okay, we're going to do the first measure at B, and we're going to be at 90, a little bit under tempo. So, we start with the outer drums, okay, and then we have and, and. So, you have one, two, and, and. Now, on that uh, flam, we're going to do the top drum, left hand moves down to the two. Now, there's not a dotted note on the downbeat of one, but you can think about it like a dotted note. Dotted note, and, and, okay, now on beat four, we're going to land on the three again. Dotted note and, and four. Try to get to four and go. Dotted note and, and four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and, and four. One, two, last time, go. One, two, and, and four. Now notice you have
you have accents on the first two notes, and it's a little more subtle after that. Now we're going to finish with right, left, right, right hand lead system, and a one on the four drum. Okay? So right after three. Or right on beat four. Four and a one. Okay, let's try the whole measure. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. Okay, and then we look at the second measure of B, so measure 32. We start pretty much with the same rhythm, but not with a double stop on, on drums three and four. So we have uh, right hand by itself, one, two, and. I'm gonna do a right flam, leaving my left down. Again, you can think of that like a dotted note. Dotted note, and, dotted, rest, and. So even the next quarter rest and eighth rest, halfway through measure 32, you could think of it as a dotted rest and then play on the and with your left hand. So you have like dotted note and dotted rest and. And of course you would go to one on the next beat. Or you could do it as written. One, two, and three, four, and one. Okay? So let's just rep measure 32. One, two, two rights go. Dotted note and dotted rest and one. Dotted note and dotted rest and one. Last time, dotted note, dotted rest. Okay, so let's do measure 31 and 32 together. One, two, ready, go. Dotted note, dotted note, dotted rest. Again, ready and go. Dotted note. Measure 33, we have that same rhythm that we've had the whole theme of technology. One E, a two, and a E, and four, and, right? That's what the keyboards have. One E, a two, and a E, and four, and one E, a two, and a E, and four, and one. Okay, so make sure you're thinking 60 notes and fitting it in there. One E, a two, and a E, and four, and one. Okay, and I'm doing right hand lead system, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, and then the eighth notes, right, left, both. Now, I'm going down the drums from the one to the two, the three to the four. So I'm just kind of swinging right, left, go to the left, left, right, go to the right, right, left, go to the left, left, right. And then I'm just going to move to the right hand to the four. Leave my left hand on the, uh, sorry, move my right hand to the one and leave my left hand on the four. And then move my right hand to the three and hit both. Okay, so let's just break this up. Let's go one E, a two, and a E, and four. And stop at four. One, two, three. Ready, go. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. One, let it flow, don't downstroke. Do some rebound if you can. in the next downbeat so you feel how much space there is there. Okay, so let's add that. One, two, thirty-three, and go. Dotted note and three, four, one. Wait till one. Last time on that. Ready and go. Dotted note and three, four, one. All right, let's do all of B so far. One line, four measures. One, two, thirty-one, go. One, two. 
Measure 35. Trip bow lift two. Uh, it's a flam accent uh, on the right hand flam. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Low left to start and then lift the left, okay? Lift the right, then lift the left, okay? Ready, go. Ready, go. Okay, then on the three drum I have. And uh, e and okay, it's kind of a similar rhythm to it's kind of similar rhythms to measure 33, uh, but let's start on beat two and go left ba dum ba dum ready and go. So you get a switch. Starts on beat two thirty five. All right, then I'm going to slide the left hand over and then end on the one. Okay, so I'm going to go on beat four. Right, left is low on this flam and then lift it up on the end. Lift, start low and then lift. Down the drums. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Now I'm gonna do another right here. Ready? Go. And now I'm gonna add a right flame on the hand there. Okay. Measure 37. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one. Okay? So it's the same thing over and over. Down to the drums again, but now we're going to swing the right hand down to the left to the four drum. Now the last one we do in on the top. So da 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 move, da 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 move, da 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 back to the top. Okay? So pretty easy rhythm here. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one. Relax, ready, and go. solo. It's the same rhythm as measure 33 and it has a little bit different of an ending. So we have one E, a two, and a E and. Now that's a double stop. E and. So one E, a two, and a E and. And then we finish uh, middle out, out. Okay. Before. Okay. So with the metronome sounds like this. Two. Ready. Go. Cross on the and, and then uncross. 
pass on the last note. Okay, so going. If you want to get fancy. If you don't, just go. Okay. One, two, measure 30, A, go. Let's hear all of 35, 36, 37, 38. Second half of the solo. One, two, triple it, triple it. Rest. Last time, 35. Triple it, triple it. Technology, timpani solo at D. We're going to go nice and slow at 80 and kind of work our way through this, okay? Here is 47. So I want to do right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, okay, for the, to start this. I know that's not the right sticking on snare, but that's what we're going to do right now, okay? Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So we're going to go from the low drum to the middle drum. Ready? Go. So right, left, right, left, right. So you really got to get your right hand or left hand out of the way and really look for good hit spots. You don't want to hit the rim. You want to hit right in the good spots, okay? Ready? Go. B4. Ready? You really got to commit to the low drum. And you can help yourself by moving your hips and getting your shoulders turned. Maybe turn. So you might be turning before, so it kind of whips you over there, okay? Alright, so all of measure 47. One, two, ready, go. measure 48. We have three notes on the high drum and then we're going from our left side to the two notes here and then a flam. So we'll go right, left, right, left, right. It's pretty easy and that should uh, flow nice and uh, nicely for you. Okay. Ready? Wait 
two full beats after that, okay? So let's add the next two beats uh, and that we're waiting, and then let's add the left hand on the low drum, okay? So we have this. All of measure 48, ready, go. Instead of four, and we're going four e and a. Okay, so it's that theme of the rhythm. One e, a two, and a e and four e and a. One e, a two, and a e and four e and a. Now we're just going back and forth between the low drum and the middle drum, left right, left right, left right, left right, and then on four e and a, we're going right, left right, left right, just like we had on beat four of uh, forty seven. Okay, so let's give this a shot. One, two, ready. same as measure 48. One and e, two and wait, wait. Instead of hitting the bottom drum, we're going to hit the top drum to finish that. Okay, so let's play 50 twice and that's it. One, two, ready, go. here basically and they kind of uh, go back and forth so the first one we're going out out in in out out in in so very simple there is the right hand's moving back and forth on eighth notes. So what happens is we hit the high drum, then we cross two low drums, and then back to the high, and then we finish on the high. So let's just figure out our right hand. So we're going to go on beat three of measure 51, we're going three and four. So we get used to that crossover. so you can really make sure you're getting good hit spots. Okay? So the whole thing there goes 
out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Left hand stays, right hand goes across, cross, back to the top. Okay? One, let's get the measure one. Good luck. If you need to slow this down or, or repeat it or pause the video, do what you gotta do. One, two, the whole measure and go. And. Exactly the same as 50 and 48. Okay, so we've already had this. Rest, rest. And now we are going to the bottom drum, but I would do right hand lead. Uh, so it is slightly different than measure 48, but it ends on the low drum on the right hand now. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's pretty self explanatory there. So let's do 47 to the downbeat of 53. One, do it twice, ready, and go, and. We're almost done here. Okay, at 53, we have single stroke fours twice. One on the low drum, one on the high drum. Okay, you could go right lead. That would be fine. I'm going to go left lead because I think it makes more sense. Because on B3 and 4, we're also going to go left lead. So we're going to continue this left idea. Uh, but you got to make sure on these triplets, it starts on a downbeat, ends on an upbeat. Triplet and, triplet and. Single stroke four, single stroke four. Okay, triplet and, triplet and. Left foot, left right, left foot, left right. too legato and you're really trying to stroke it up ta -ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta -ta, and lift because you really need to hear that articulation otherwise it's going to sound like a wash uh, like a like a roll okay now let's finish this measure 53 uh, by going left lead left right left right left right left three and a four and one going down the drum just yet just strike it let's do some weird stickings here at 54 just trust me go left right left right left and just strike that left no roll yet okay and really strike that left um, so we really hear articulation there ready go Is and how loud 
that's ringing. I know there's a roll right away on that and. Don't roll right away. Sneak in as low as possible uh, and maybe spread your hands out a little bit and then sneak in to the, to the uh, Sneak into the sound that's already happening where you don't really hear yourself enter and then speed up into the downbeat. So you have. Okay, I really don't want to hear you enter there. Um, and make sure we don't rush into E. One, two, ready, go. same rhythm. Which we had at the beginning of our cut. Okay, but that's not part of the solo. Okay, so we're ready to do the whole thing. So here is D to E. Here we go. I'm going to do it twice. One, two, ready. Okay, storm break snare solo. So we have a couple rudiments here that you might want to check out outside of this. Whether it's in my Aya handbook or not, you have some five stroke rolls. Okay. Nice open doubles there. You have nine stroke rolls. Single stroke sevens. Okay. Of course you got some flams. Low grace notes on the flams. Okay, some downbeat fives. You have flam accents, sometimes off the left. Okay, so we need to learn how to be nice and relaxed on the inner beats and using rebound with our fingers, but then also having our fingers closed and using a downstroke on our accents. The rest of it is kind of just typical timing rhythms, okay? So we're gonna go through this nice and slowly at 90 and kind of break it down. The first measure, let's do check first, no drags. So again, this is a good chance for us to work in our marching heights. So make sure you're getting good downstrokes. Okay, we have one E and a two E and a E and four E and a one. There's no tie on that last roll, but I wanna connect it, okay? One, two, ready, go. Okay, I think it's important when you're playing these kind of things, you write in the sticking on the bottom of the accents. So you'll see a right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Okay, that way you know which hand to lift. Okay, one, two, ready, go. 
Now, from that uh, uh, and your left hand will float. It'll be a full stroke. So get used to that. Move, move. Don't let it downstroke on that first one. Okay? You will downstroke after that and then lift for your last nine stroke roll. Okay, so let's add the last roll. Okay? Um, so we're going to add a nine stroke roll, which is four drags. Okay, everything else is still checked. One, two, ready, go. I know that roll at the end sounds fast, but all I'm paying is 4E and 01. 4E and 01. Okay, so maybe you learn that with press buzzes to get your check pattern. So that teaches you when to open up your fingers and then make sure your arm is still on the 16th notes. Da, 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 da. Then loosen it up. Okay, and your right hand's just going 4 and 1. Okay, uh, a lot of kids hear dig 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 da and they start to move their hands quickly. It's just 4E and 01 in the arms. Okay. So let's add the five stroke roll on the and of one. So that's an upbeat five stroke roll. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it with press buzzes so you can make sure the check is continuous. One, two, ready, go. And you learn when to open. So I'm learning to burst my fingers open, close them back quickly, and then open them up at the end, and then close on the last note. Last time with press buzz primer. Okay, now let's open it to doubles. Okay, moving on to the second measure of the solo, 55. So we have a right hand release, that's kind of low. Then I'm gonna go from the edge, single stroke seven, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then, then again, okay, on the downbeat from three to four, I have a shot on that last note, and then I'm doing a left flam, and so I'm gonna keep my right hand down there. So on that shot, I'm gonna downstroke, leave it down, and then I'm gonna flam, don't raise my right. Okay, so slowly you have edge, So, make sure that everything's lining up with eighth notes. Tap, triple the triple the and, triple the triple the shot, flam, boom. Everything's on the eighth note. Ready? Go. Tap, triple the triple the tap, triple the triple the shot, flam, stop. Okay? One, two, ready, go. Now, make sure when you're playing these triplets, you're using rebound, especially when we get up to 120, and you're not holding the stick too tight. Okay, you're gonna get loose, let it rebound, let the stick and drum do the work, okay? All right, two more times. One, two, ready, go. Uh, again, and go. Okay, last note's not too heavy there because we're gonna start low for those uh, downbeat five stroke rolls. All right, so let's play from the beginning now. So we have measure 54 and 55. One, two, ready, go. Last time, ready, go. I said last time, but you can go back, you can pause the video, you can loop it, and you can slow it down, do what you gotta do before moving on. All right, here is 56. We have a downbeat five stroke roll, two accents. One of my favorite parts here. When you get faster, you might need to do some molar whip from that drag to that accent. Of course, the check for that is buzz, buzz, accent, buzz, buzz, accent. Okay. And then, so let's get that in time with the press buzz primer. One, two, check all the time. Ends with a flam. One, two, ready, go. It's going to be kind of a little difficult here with this left hand playing an accent, and then it's got to get down for that uh, flam grace note. So you're almost doing a bad double. 
So I wouldn't really open up my hand too much on that last left, and then just let it be a low left. when I add that flam. I need to practice that a little bit. All right, here we go with drags now. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now these flam accents. You gotta make sure you are going from right to left to right with low grace notes. And you've gotta downstroke these accents. And then your inner beats have these nice push, push, pull. I like to stay loose and then pull the last note in. So you might need to practice. Low threes and make sure you're nice and loose and open and then closing for that last one so you can prep for a closed hand downstroke on the flams. Right, left, right. Uh, make sure you're going right, left to start, not right, right. It's not Swiss's. Same thing when you're on your left flam, it goes to the right hand after, okay? You might want to practice just the first two notes, like flam left, flam right, flam. Two, ready, and go. Right, left, right, right, right. Okay, make sure you're playing the right sticking. Okay, now we'll play it in tempo. One, two, fly, mix it, fly, mix it, fly. Ready? Nice and loose. On the low stuff. And put your accents as a downstroke. As a downstroke. And we're going to downstroke that last note on the flam because the next ride is low, okay? So it's gonna be. Stay low. Now go ahead and lift your left when you hit that right because it's gotta be ready for an accent, okay? Lift. Lift your left. Low right, high left. Last time. Okay, let's play that whole measure. 56, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Last time and go. Okay, last measure. We're gonna have flam accents again, but it starts with a low right, and then we're gonna start flam accents off our left. Okay. And again, we gotta float that left on the uh to the e, just like we did in the first measure in measure 54. Leave your left hand up at the end and go ahead and start lifting your right as well. So we're gonna go low right, lift your left, flam accent, flam accent, lift both. Okay, you gotta know when to lift, otherwise you're gonna be late. Uh, all right, so let's do that slow. Ready, and uh, go, e, and uh, right, left, right, left, and then have both up. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now let's think about this again because I don't want you to get your stickings wrong. You start with a right, our left plays a flam, and then a right follows that left flam. So maybe just practice. And what's your right hand doing, by the way? It's just playing threes, like we talked about at the beginning. So make sure the right's going pop, 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 and you're adding your left on the E. Okay, and then the next flam is going to be a right, followed by a low left, okay? Right, left, right, right, left. Once you get an idea of that, then you can start flowing into the next 60 notes. Two, ready, and go. Lift both, that way you're ready for the E and. Okay, but let's get these flams in time first. One, two, ready, go. Now, I'm gonna keep going so you can hear it's connected on the E and to beat four. One, two, ready, go. 
see how I was ready on the E and, okay? And then my right hand reattacks on B4 for that last nine stroke roll that I'm gonna take to the edge. Sometimes you might wanna end with a buzz, just like the technology snare solo. That might sound cooler too. So we'll see what we like, okay? Oh, what? Let's play this in time. One, two, ready, go. Play with the buzz this time. Okay, we'll have to listen to the recording, see which one sounds cooler or what your director uh, prefers when you're in rehearsal. Okay, let's play the whole snare solo. Here we go. We'll do it twice. One, two, ready, go. This last one I'll do with the nine stroke roll at the end. Okay, so let's hear what that sounds like in context at 120. One, two, one, two, ready, go. So the first rhythm we have here is one and a uh, e and, okay? And I'm choosing to go right, left, left, right, left, left, which is right hand lead system. Uh, but then we have to change our lead system to make sure the sticking's good, and we're going to go e and right, left. We usually don't do the e's on the right, but we are going to do it here. So we have one e, uh, e. So I'm going to keep my right hand on these two drums over here, and my left hand's going to scoot down. One e, uh, e. Ready? to rim uh, three and two um, but I really don't see any point in doing that so just just rim the outside two drums okay all right one two ready go Now, that 
that same speed we're going to do with doubles in the sextuplet. Okay, so it's that same it's that same progression that we had on the downbeat of measure 59. But it's in triplets. Uh, it's in a sextuplet. Ticka 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 da. Triple the triple the boom. So the check for that would be uh, eighth note triplets. So that would be So just do the check with no doubles. Triple and stop. And when you're ready, push pull that. Which is kind of tough. But you can do it. Same triplets. And then on the end, we play the four with the left. And then end on the one. So we have. Measure 60. Symphony solo. It's a four four measure break. We're just gonna break it down here. All right, so we're gonna go right hand lead up the drums from the low drum. Watch your hit spots. One e and a two e and a. Now that's the only hard part is going from the high to the middle, and so you're gonna have to really shift your body and get uh, get over there. So your body is gonna help take you there. Okay, so let's go two beats only. Done. Dun 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 ding dun 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 one two ready go. And again, as you do this, try to make sure your hit spots are good. Don't accidentally hit the rim or get by here. Really try to hit these two here, these two here, and these two here. Okay. Maybe even memorize this first part so you can really focus on this hit spot. Downbeat on the high drum. Ready? Go. Okay, great. Now we're going to do beat three to four. We have high to middle, middle to low. So this actually feels good. Right, left, right, left. So basically going out, out, and the middle stuff is in the middle. But you're going to move your right hand to the high drum and leave your left hand on the low drum and float to E and. Now this E and is going to be right left. We're not on snare drum, so we have to do a sticking that's going to work for this. So we're actually not doing the correct sticking here. We're going to go right left on 
E amp. So we're going to go. Let's get the accent. Okay, let's add the downbeat and play with the mat. One, two, add the downbeat on the high drum. start if you're in a seated position or even standing you could start with your right foot already on the high drum ready to go um, I would set your gauges there's F so I know where to go so E and F are like this close so you got to get used to barely moving your foot Okay, um, but you could start with your feet where you could turn your hips and then when you need to throw it. Okay, that's very quick. Da 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 da. Quick da 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 da. Okay, it's very quick but small motion in your foot. So that's going to take some, some time to figure out. Okay, so let's do just the rhythm. And then we're going to go. Do a double right there to take our left hand down to the A. So beat four of measure time jumping around. Beat four of 63 is gonna be right, right, left, four and one. Okay, let's get used to the ending. Okay, so let's not tune yet, but have our foot ready and just play the rhythm. Uh, so this is the beginning of measure 63. One E and a two and a three and right, right, left, two, ready and go and right, right, left. Right, 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 left. Okay, now let's practice the tuning. So we're gonna go stay, 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 and then up, 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 then back. Okay. Control in short. Ready? Go. Da 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 da. Okay, we gotta know the pitch so we find it. Ready? Go. just now and I really feel like my foot already needs to be there. One, two, ready, begin. or go back or set a loop on ensemble block okay um, now let's uh, finish this guy so this is 64 so here's what we need to do we have this rhythm that was from the original technology that was the first part of storm break storm break is kind of like a, a sequel uh, for this percussion ensemble the rhythm with 16th notes 
I know there's ties and whatever, but the rhythm is one E, a two, and a E, N. One E, a two, and a E, N. One E, a two, and a E, N. And with our sticking, we're going to have to go left, right the whole time. Okay, I lost the metronome, but uh, I'll be your metronome. One, two, ready, go. So we're going, right hand's moving back and forth, left hand stays on the bottom. Ready, go. Again, ready, go. We will have to end with the right hand sweeping from the top to the bottom because of what's coming up, so make sure you're sticking on the last note on B4. Ready? Go. Measure 65 is one and E three, one and E three. And again, you should learn this as a check pattern first. Uh, let's say you're doing 60 notes. One and E three, one and E three. Right, right, left, right. And then with the beat, make sure to eat that late. notes let's just mute them with our left hand and hit with the right all right so let me hear 64 and 65 one two ready go but actually easy the transition between measure 63 and me measure 64 you'll leave your hands down here so it's a so don't think about moving when you 